Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are here today with another movie review and today we are reviewing Captain Marvel. And there's been some controversy around this film, but we are always excited for it and we went to go see it and we quite enjoyed it. So for those, uh, none of you who are unfamiliar with this movie, uh, this is about the newest superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Captain Marvel. Uh, based on the trailers and initial information, she is part Kree, or has been turned into a Kree. And she is having memories of a life that she does not remember, and so it's kind of her journey through that, and her... It's, it's not an origin story, but it is an origin story. Like, she has her powers before the movie starts, but she's still, like getting her footing with them and whatnot. You follow the title character of Carol Danvers as she learns who she is and how she fits into this giant cinematic universe. So I'm not gonna lie, when we first went to see this, the, the, the hate had gotten to me just a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. As people who review things on YouTube, it does make me less excited to review things knowing that people are probably going to be fucking shitty about it, honestly. And if you're going to be one of those people in the comments, fuck you. Uh, but... We will. Yeah, just to start that off right now, we will ban and block you are, every single You are allowed to have differing opinions. That is not what we're discussing. We are discussing the vitriol hate that is happening about this movie. If you're going to be super shitty, super anti-women, super anti... All the things, leap. Uh, but I was a little tainted going into this, and I gotta say, uh, none of that mattered because it was great. Yeah, I think that overall it was a really enjoyable film. I don't think it necessarily did anything to step above and beyond a lot of the offerings that the MCU has. But I don't think it needed to. I think yeah. that's a big problem going into this film that a lot of people, you know, were how many, 20-something movies into this franchise and this specific like it's all one story and one series we're just in a different phase of it people are expecting something like guardians or like uh thor 3 or something like that where it's like okay well they're very different things this is people rely too much on what we've already seen when you have to remember that this movie is the first for this character and i think just people put too many expectations on it going into it I'll never understand why people go to see these MCU films expecting them to completely reinvent the wheel every single movie. And I don't think there's a single MCU movie, and I have the credit to back it up. I'm probably one of the biggest Marvel fans around, but I don't think I've gone to a single one expecting it to completely like change the movie game or to like blow me away in terms of what a film is. Instead, they are fun, escapist adventures where you get to see people be super-powered and to fight bad guys, and I think on that level, this movie delivers just as much as any other film in the MCU franchises, and better than some, and not as well as some others. This is our first female-led superhero film in the MCU. We have already gotten one in DC in the form of Wonder Woman, which was a great addition to that franchise. And I was really looking forward to see if this one was also a great addition. And like I've already said, I do think it is. Um, I don't want to compare it to Wonder Woman. They're very different movies. I don't think they need to be compared just because they're the first women-led films. I think that's stupid. This is a superhero film that happens to be women-led, and I think that uh, it came across really well. So uh, let's get into a little bit more details of our thoughts, I guess. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about Brie. I think she did let's a good job. Brie. Um, I think some people had some critiques of her from the trailer, which is stupid, like critiquing someone's acting from a trailer. But to not get bogged down in that, I think Brie did a good job. I think they were pretty clear on the kind of character they wanted their Carol Danvers to be in this universe, and I think she delivers on that. She doesn't always have, you know, the charisma or spunk of like a Tony Stark, but she's not supposed to, and that's pretty clear. I had to check myself watching the first act of this film, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm sitting there like when she makes the snarky comments or whatnot, and I'm expecting a Doctor Strange or a Tony Stark or, you know, like the utmost snarky men in these franchises, and I had to check myself and be like, that's not this character, and characters are allowed to have those aspects without them being their defining uh, character traits. And so I, I agree. I think that she balanced uh, a lot of the sass and spunk, but also she was a very understated superhero. And I want to talk about that a little bit because I actually really related to this quite a bit. 
And she's not understated in a way where she doesn't have presence on screen or she doesn't speak up or stand up for herself. She absolutely does those things. But she almost like takes a step back and observes a lot more than I've seen a lot of other characters do in the MCUs, especially title characters. She did a lot more of like just checking stuff out and not like really being having to be the number one person in the room or having to be the person who knew all the answers. She was just doing her own thing and I think that was really defining for her character. As well, I think the the rest of the ensemble cast was really good in this. I quite enjoyed her friend, her best friend. I think she did a really good job and I think she's a really good actress. I think she should be in more things. I don't I think I've seen agree. her in anything. And their dynamic worked incredibly well on screen. I really enjoyed watching them as a friendship. Yeah, and so that was cool and they're definitely both different types of women that I feel like you typically get to see on television. I also felt like Sam Jackson. I mean, Sam Jackson was Sam Jackson in this. I feel like at this point, that's kind of Samuel Jackson is Samuel Jackson in his movies. Him and Brie Larson have some great on-screen chemistry. I really enjoyed them as like almost a buddy <laughs> cop duo in yeah. part of this movie. Uh, I quite enjoyed it, that little interaction, and I love Sam's uh, interactions with Goose the cat as well. Which I think Goose, everyone knew, was going to be a standout character. And the cat was awesome. I think a lot of fun in the scenes. It's kind of hard to discuss without being spoilery. Yeah. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with the comics. But the cat is fun and I think deserves a place on the poster. And, Absolutely. And is a unique addition compared to some of the ensemble cast of the other heroes. While I overall enjoyed this movie, especially by the end of it, I did have a little bit of trouble with the first act. I I don't know if that's just because I already had the negative people invading my brain, so I was being overly critical. But I do think that the first act is a lot weaker than the rest of the movie, but I don't think that's like bogs the whole movie down. It's just an aspect of it. I think a big thing that stood out for me in this film was that there were some CGI moments that seemed a little suspect. And in doing some research after watching the film, this is one of the lower budget movies for the MCU. It's pretty on par with most other characters, like initial movies, their introduction movies. It's pretty similar, but it's still on the lower of that little grouping of budget range. So I think that was definitely a, a factor. And I think they ended up having spent a lot of their CGI budget on the de-aging of Sam Jackson as well as a couple other characters and I think that was pretty evident. I think that the biggest place for me where the lower budget came out was probably the fight choreography. I think which um, has been a common critique. I think one of the biggest reasons people see these superhero movies is to see these cool superheroes in action. Obviously the cool fight scenes and stuff and this more than some of the other films in the MCU I felt like utilized older school action filming techniques. So lots of quick takes. You're always cutting away right before you actually get to see the action. So you see a punch and then it clips and you see the leg and then it clips to see the guy who just got kicked with the sound effect instead of getting just one long format shot where you get to see someone actually go through the choreography. So my argument in response to this is that this is a 90s movie. And I think that might have played a factor. I could be completely incorrect on that, but I felt like there were a lot of scenes that felt very reminiscent of 90s movies and how they're shot. I don't know if that was intentional or just a side effect of lower budget. As a connoisseur of fighting films, though, I would say that it is an older way of filming it and not a better one. I think we have evolved our filmmaking when it comes to fight scenes that, like, long format takes where you get to really see everything. Whether it was intentional or not, sometimes in these fight scenes it felt like they were trying to use the movie magic to hide some of what was lacking in those scenes, and it, they don't have as much punch, but I think a lot of that is just budget. They didn't have the money to pay the stunt doubles to choreograph these big crazy fights and CGI them in. With like, that being said, I do think Brie Larson did a stunning job in what was shown on screen. And I know that she trained for months leading up to this. Like she put in the work, she put in the time. It just seems like it was a choreography problem, not a performance problem. Overall, I think we both really enjoyed this film. Uh, it definitely exceeded my expectations personally, but I, not that I had low expectations, but I, I guess I had just kind of neutral expectations going into it. I just wanted to see what they had. I wasn't really sure what we were going to get. And I was really pleasantly surprised. It's definitely, I think, a stunning addition to the MCU. I think that the box office numbers coming in so far shows that other people agree. 
Yeah, I definitely completely agree. I hope they feel bad at Marvel Studios for constraining their budget so much on this film, especially Same. compared to some of these other honestly less bankable characters and giving them twice as much money because this movie's making a lot of money and there's clearly a demand for it regardless of how many people throw fits on Rotten Tomatoes. A lot of people want to see these cool female heroes doing awesome things, especially such a powerful one as Captain Marvel. I think she's going to be a game changer for the universe. And... I thought it was really good. I hit my expectations kind of on the mark. And like I said, I liked it better than something. Like, I like this one better than I like Doctor Strange on the first watch. I don't disagree. And some of those other ones that are at the bottom. And I have no complaints about it as an addition to the MCU. And before we let you guys go, we did wanted to talk a little bit about our expectations on the character of Captain Marvel going forward, whether they are in ensemble films or her own uh, movies. Uh, I'm personally really excited to see where her character goes, especially knowing that between this and Endgame, there's like a 20-year time gap, 25-year time gap. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested to see how her character has developed in that time and also explain uh, why she is still the same age. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely intrigued by her involvement in Endgame. I think she's going to have an extremely important role in Endgame. Mm -hmm. I don't see how she cannot. I think that... Yeah, I think she's going to be a very important character in Endgame. I'm excited for her to be in that. I think bringing in some more of these more powerful heroes allows them to play with more powerful villains. I think there's a lot of fun ones. I'm especially excited as they expand the cosmic side of her character because it opens her up to not only introducing more, uh, more cosmic characters that I'm very excited for and hope they eventually do, like Nova, um... It also opens up some huge arcs for the comics and stuff. The introduction of scrolls in this movie opens, you know, things up to some huge ramifications and implications moving forward for the whole universe. And it's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think her movie will end up being one of the more important ones in the spectrum of moving Marvel forward, especially post Endgame. And when it comes to Captain Marvel, like a future installments of her own films, I'm really excited to see these supporting characters return because I really liked all of the ones that, you know, were on her team or ones that are clearly going to return in some capacity, whether they are friendly or foe. Uh, I loved Goose the Cat. I really enjoyed Ben Mendelsohn's uh, performance in this film. Can't really say much more than that. But I, I thought he was amazing. I think it's my favorite role he's ever been in, personally, <laughs> considering the last one was Ready Player One and it was bad. But uh, so I, I'm really excited to see this uh, supporting characters come back, which I hope they do. I don't know what the implications of Endgame. Maybe they won't. We'll see where it goes. So that wraps up our spoiler-free thoughts on Captain Marvel. Please let us know respectfully down below how you felt about this movie. Do you agree with us? Do you not? We are more than willing to talk to you about it as long as you are nice about it. We will be monitoring comments and deleting as we see fit. <laughs> but uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, even if you did or did not agree with us. And subscribe if you're interested in more movie reviews from us. We also have a lot of different content on our channel that does not center around movie reviews. So if you're interested in more than just that, stick around. We'd love to have you join our little BS Review family. And we'll see you guys in our next video.